Hello, my friends. I am Marietta, and I welcome you to Marietta's Art Show. Today, I'll show you how I use glass in epoxy resin to inspire passion. I have my personal take on how inspiration and passion can find you. Let's continue with my introduction, and I will further explain what today's video is all about. In this video, you'll watch me create a resin art piece for Exposures Gallery in Sedona as I discuss my thought regarding ways inspiration and passion work hand in hand to add a sparkle to your world. I appreciate you give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. It costs nothing and you will help my channel grow so I can spread the love of art to as many people as I can consider having me create a commission for you. It's an honor. Let's move on with creating some beautiful art and inspire your passion and light that fire so it can burn within you. Recently, I've had a lot of friends ask me how I keep up my passion. They tell me I'm such a lucky girl to possess this drive and seem to have an endless amount of energy to do what I love to do. I wasn't born with that, they say. I wish I could find what you have. All those questions and comments coming from my friends made me think about my journey and how I've always turned to art to fill that space in my life that would otherwise feel empty. Was I born with that or did I acquire it some way? In the back of my mind, I recall a time when everything seemed so incredibly animated and energizing. There was no lack of wanting to learn and experiencing everything the world has to offer. As a little girl, I would walk to the park from our apartment in Poland with my mother, and I would skip along the way and sing out loud as a three-year-old. We would walk around the manicured park and I would smell the flowers, listen to the birds chirping as my mother would let me run free. As a botanist, she pointed out the little details that magnify acute observation and the sense of wonder. Do you remember those moments as a child when there was no boredom, just endless energy to explore and experience more? As time takes us on our life's journey, as we grow up and experience the joy and hardships, successes and failures, love and heartache, and all emotions that life brings, I feel our senses become dulled as we build an invisible armor around us. We allow others' perceptions of us guide the way we feel and behave, distancing us more and more from that pure sense of being one with nature, the feeling of curiosity and awe that you felt as a child. We become tainted by society to feel less, express less of our soul and become numb. I know I've traveled this path so many times and only now am learning how to free myself from its constraints. Who wants to feel pain or be hurt? I know I run away from being vulnerable and opening my heart fully. Can you relate to this feeling? I'd love to hear your story. In spite of all these limitations and all of life's ups and downs, I somehow managed to allow a part of me to escape to my self-made bubble of make-believe that permits my expression to flow and come alive, the world of art. Is that ability to carve another world within your own equate to passion? Or is it just a coping mechanism which I created to escape reality, the hurt and challenges that are intrinsic aspects of our human existence? So what is passion really? Is it an obsession? 
Passion is one of those words that people use often without really understanding the original meaning of the word. When most people refer to passion, they use it to mean strong emotions reflecting an intense desire or endless enthusiasm. At least that's a basic definition. What I did not realize is that passion originally meant a willingness to suffer for what you love. Perhaps the word passion should not have been connected to a strong feeling or excitement. It should be used to describe an activity, goal, or cause that one cares about so much that one is willing to suffer for it. This way of looking at passion makes it easier to discern whether something is truly my passion or simply a strong interest. Look at your life and highlight the things you love that you're willing to suffer for. The self-reflection will give you insight into what you're passionate about. If you're not sure, just pick something you enjoy and see if you're willing to give up other activities to spend more time on it. I think that passion is a determination, conviction, and love. Passion is a strong desire that can get you to do amazing things. It is an emotion to be acted upon. Without action, passion yields to no worthwhile results. Passion is an emotion and an energy to be acted upon. Passion can be a cause of disturbance in the balance of one's life. I am guilty of such an intense drive to create that at times I become oblivious to the world around me. A day can evaporate as I'm creating art. I lose track of time, whether I've eaten or hydrated enough. I constantly work at being aware of the present so that I don't fall into an unhealthy, obsessive state. I've certainly given up other activities in order to be submerged in my bubble of creativity and inner joy. People say that I'm lucky to have this thing called passion. I think it's a double-ended sword. I find that throughout my life, as I focused on various aspects of life, over time, each would become a passion as well, such as fitness, cycling, hiking, golf, photography, and dentistry. You might ask, how can someone have so many passions? I truly believe that passions in my life found me after I chose to take action and become involved in so many different things. If you choose activities that become of great interest, you might give passion a chance to find you, grow and blossom. Passion comes from experience and the willingness to become truly involved. It grows after you find something you like or even love to do, no matter how difficult it may be. It flourishes with hard work and willingness to devote your time and energy to fill your soul. It grows as you allow your soul to be filled with creative dreams, become open and vulnerable. It gives you satisfaction and a sense of accomplishment as you look forward to the next endeavor. It gives you a deep happiness that you have created on your own. Only you own the rights to this special place. You are the author of your life. The more involved and committed you are, the easier it becomes for your brain to follow the path you want. It becomes a way of life, the way you think, the way you see the world around you, the way you interact with others, the way you live. It gives an internal happiness and gives you a purpose to experience the world through the eyes of a child. It gives you fresh perspective. You can count on it being present under difficult moments life throws at you. It may diminish in size of its flame, but you know the spark will return when it is ready to burn. If you look for it, it will hide 
for it is fueled by your actions and willingness to try new things. It may leave you for a while, for it knows your heart and soul need a rest and room to replenish energy and grow. Its absence will create fresh and novel ideas that will guide your imagination and creativity to find new paths you have not noticed or seen before. Enjoy the silence and the absence and use the time to partake in other aspects of your life you may have abandoned. It's all a delicate balance. The idea of passion also applies to people. However, I won't go into that aspect right now. In my art world, I find that inspiration is another necessary element that needs to be present in order to fuel my creativity. It awakens me to new possibilities by allowing my brain to transcend ordinary experiences and limitations. After all, art has no limits. It is filled with endless possibilities. Once inspiration finds me, the creative part of my mind becomes open and receptive to ideas which seem to rush in, like a floodgate opening and depositing glistening diamonds. The feeling can be overwhelming, but exciting at the same time. At times, I have a difficult time to take it all in and prioritize what to attempt next, since I can only focus on one creative endeavor at a time. Some of these diamonds will disappear and will never resurface. It's my dilemma. Since inspiration is a spontaneous phenomenon, I may feel an urgency to act immediately to capture the moment before it vanishes. This, in turn, can cause pressure to drop everything I'm doing at that time. Inspiration is difficult to grasp or count on its presence. It is the essence of creativity. You cannot summon it to appear. It has a mind of its own. For me, it shows up in waves and mentally stimulates my mind to come up with renewed vigor and ingenuity. I'm well aware of its presence. And if I can, I must act right then and take advantage of its presence. If I don't, it can vanish as quickly as it came. And I must wait for the resurgence of the next wave. Creating artwork without the presence of inspiration is almost impossible for me. If I don't feel it, the piece will show it. Compared to normal experiences of daily life, inspiration appears itself most often when I'm at peace with myself, my world, and I'm feeling a heightened spiritual state. I believe inspiration is a kind of state of mind which awakens a part of one's soul. It opens a path that takes you to a place which transcends common reality. As I can perceive and welcome this feeling overcome me, it visits me more frequently with increased intensity. When in this state, I don't waste my time with other distractions. Creativity becomes easy and second nature. It causes me to be one with the process. I fully visualize my project and all the steps I need to follow to achieve what I envision. It feels like a grand gift and I am so grateful to experience its depth. Inspiration is not triggered by some unknown event. It can arise by gaining knowledge and experience, listening to enthusiastic, happy people who connect with you in some way can become a source of inspiration. Inspired people become more creative, have a happier outlook toward life, and look forward to tomorrow. I'd love to hear from you your thoughts regarding inspiration and passion. Which comes first? 
If you're struggling to live a passionate existence, in my humble opinion, I believe that passion will find you once you encounter an activity you enjoy, gives you a purpose, and engages your senses. Inspiration will then enter your life and take you to another level of creativity, self-confidence, joy, and an avenue of novel thinking. It is bound to happen if you don't give up too soon. If you choose the wrong thing, try something else. The journey is worth it. Thank you for listening to my thoughts. Listen to the music as you enjoy the rest of my art creation. show you a perspective of this piece it's a 24 by 24 board and I added some special elements to this one as you can see I added the abalone shell which gives it a three-dimensional feel to the piece and also a natural feel as well I added special glass that is reflective everywhere and also some little pieces of glass shards that sparkle like diamonds like crazy I incorporated them into the resin and I poured it around the rocks of the glass. I look forward to doing my next piece. I would like to hear from you. What colors do you like? What is your favorite color? What do you think would look good with this kind of thing? I am gonna be incorporating different aspects like the abalone shell, um, some other things into my resin pieces. Resin is truly incredible. You can do almost anything with it. So I'm really looking forward to experimenting and showing you something new to making my next piece and also telling you another special story.
I hope you enjoyed watching my art piece unfold and can relate to my story in some way. I look forward to your comments and suggestions for my future videos. Did I motivate anyone to start the passion journey? I enjoy commissions and will work with you on your color palette and price point. I place links for the supplies in the description below, as well as a link to my art website, marietasart.com. I sell my art on my website, as well as many of the art pieces which I make on this YouTube channel, unless they are a commission piece, of course. You can contact me by emailing me through my website or commenting down below. I appreciate you subscribe to my channel, share with your friends and hit the bell so you get notified every time I post a new video. Comment on my content and let me know what you would like to see me make in the future. So for now, happy arting, bardzo dziękuję. Thank you so much for watching. Until the next time.